Welcome back to the Jedi Masters. Today we're going over a fun topic. We're going to be going into our latest Patreon release, the Order 66 Challenge. But before we get into it, I do want to give a massive shout out uh, to the MCDM team and Matt Colville in particular for their work with the new Flea the Mortals uh, Monster Manual book. Because uh, a large inspiration for the Order 66 challenge was the Against the Horde one they placed out uh, as a part of that package. Uh, so shout outs to them uh, as I was playing through it and ran it with my crew. Definitely check out the video if you haven't seen it before. It was a blast. Uh, but I was running with my players. I'm like, this would be amazing with Star Wars. And as I was kind of brainstorming how to bring it to Star Wars, I thought order 66 is the way to do it uh, because with this type of challenge your players aren't going to survive uh, this is gonna be one of the few situations the heroes won't win and i was thinking of star wars order 66 is the best representation of that because at the end of it this is the twilight of the jedi the jedi as an order pretty much fall uh the clones uh kind of mercilessly turn against their former Jedi generals and gun them down in cold blood. Uh, if you're a Legends fan like me, they gun them down in cold blood. Uh, if you may be uh, a Clone Wars fan or a Disney canon fan, uh, they may have chips and that twitched on and they went commando against them. Uh, either way works. Uh, I left it kind of vague in the description. Use whichever canon you fit best. Uh, but that's where our heroes would be. They will be Jedi Knights of the Order uh, fighting valiantly against the clones. A little bit of the story behind this, because I wanted to have a, kind of a, a reason why the Jedi would stay and fight versus kind of trying to flee. Uh, but basically, these Jedi uh, were on uh, one of the moons of Coruscant who had been converted into a military base for the Grand Army of the Republic. Uh, they had brought their younglings along with them to do a joint training exercise between them and the clones. Uh, and while they were doing this training exercise, Darth Sidious let out his heinous announcement ordering the clones to execute Order 66. Uh, and as that rings out, the clones turn against the Jedi Knights and their younglings. Fortunately, they had a Jedi Master with them who, through the sacrifice of his own life, defeated the first clone troops that were pursuing them. But these leaves the Knights and the younglings in a bad position. There are clones all over the moon, uh, and they need to find a way to get the younglings off planet. Eventually finding a star cruiser, they, they can find a way to buy passage for the younglings, but there needs to be a distraction. There needs to be something to keep the clones and their grand army of the Republic's focus on them. So four knights step forward uh, and knowing that they were giving their lives away, decide to step in and combat these clones and draw their attention uh, to get buying time for the younglings to escape and for a hope to survive in the galaxy. So, one of the ways to kind of get that going and uh, in the packet for all of our Patreon viewers, there's going to be a link down in the description. And if you're not part of the Patreon, definitely jump in. We've got cool things like this all the time. Uh, there's definitely kind of that disc st story description and all that to kind of get everything up and running. A little bit of background on the PCs for this one. Uh, so with this, it's, as I said, it's a challenge. This is a, uh, with this survival uh, and gaining points will be able to get you on the leaderboard. Because what we're going to be doing is in our Discord, there will be a leaderboard. Uh, and basically, there's a couple different ways you can get points. Uh, within there, if you check out the document, we've got a breakdown of all the different scoring options. We've got things like kill streak, uh, elegant weapon, uh, where uh, you could bounce back. Uh, if you reflect a blaster bolt and it kills somebody outright, you get some points for that. Uh, there's a lot of different cool things that you can get points for within this challenge. Uh, and also, there's eight defined rounds within this this fight. Uh, and you get if you get to all eight rounds with your crew surviving, uh, you get 20 points. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can earn points on that side. And if you do get to round eight, uh, it starts looping round seven and eight as you keep going through until eventually you do fall. Because as I mentioned, uh, this is a game where the heroes lose. So it, well, point of advice for the players, go into it with that mindset. Go in to survive as long as possible, but definitely... Uh, embrace defeat with dignity. Because uh, right now, this is not one of the stories where the heroes are going to prevail. The Jedi fall today, but you'll go out like true knights of the Order, uh, protecting uh, the younglings and keeping the hope alive for the galaxy. 
So keep that in mind. A uh, couple pieces of advice for the GM. This is going to be, uh, this is a, a, a big scenario. There's a lot of clones. There's a lot of different pieces to manage. Give yourself some grace uh, because it's definitely it could feel overwhelming at first. But my recommendation is to go through, read the different blocks before you get into it. Read the different rounds uh, and kind of what troops appear on the battlefield at what times uh, and kind of what effects, what abilities they've got. Just so you're familiar with it and kind of know how to bust it out when you need to. Also, each round has a different event that occurs. I'm not going to spoil it. This is going to be spoilers light because uh, I want to make sure that if you are a player of this, you don't get uh, anything spoiled for you. At DMs, you've got some tricks up your sleeve. But each round, uh, most of the rounds, I should say, have an event where you get to get that off and kind of do something cool to, to change the field for the battlefield. Uh, so that's just a little bit about this. And for the challenge piece, because I've mentioned the, we're going to have a challenge. And if you do run this encounter, definitely make sure to go on the Discord. Uh, and at me or Todd, uh, let us know kind of how far you survived, how many rounds your crew went, uh, and what your end point total was. Because uh, we'll, we'll definitely be keeping a leaderboard and giving shout outs to those who have uh, done well with it. Uh, now, one piece, if you are doing the official challenge... There are pre-gen characters made for this. We wanted it to be a level field. We didn't want somebody to go through and especially with Star Wars 5e, just create some beast optimized characters that really like uh, could just survive all day. With this, we built four Jedi that kind of reflect the order. So they're, they're decently optimized. I made them, so they're, they're pretty optimized. Uh, but they, they definitely feel more like Jedi and the skills and abilities and resources they have. So I wanted to make them true to the order, but definitely give you some fun options for playing them. So we've got four, it's built for four players. You can kind of customize it to more players if you'd like to, but it won't be the official challenge piece. Uh, but four players, we've got the Jedi. So we've got Guardian class. Uh, we did the uh, Form 3 Guardian, the Sorosu Guardian. Uh, we did Sentinels, uh, the Path of Focus Sentinel. Uh, counselor, uh, the Way of the Sage Counselor, so some great healing options. And then I wanted to have a fourth one, and I wanted a sturdy guy, uh, so we did Berserker, uh, Way of the Mar or the Marauder Path. Uh, so I know the first three are kind of the pure forest classes. The other one's not a pure forest class, but it kind of gives some good different options on that side for a good survivable uh, tank that'll be rolling with the crew. So those would be the ones you'll be able to play. Each of the players gets to pick one of them. Uh, they can't double up on a class, uh, and you'll be able to go through and embrace the encounter. We also included a map in there, too. Uh, so uh, you can have, have everybody has that same map. You can throw that in there. And uh, basically, we've put everything in here that you need to have for a night of D&D. Uh, you've got your characters. You've got the monsters. You've got the scenarios. You've got the scoring and points method. Uh, you can just need to go through and plug and play. Now, the last two things I'm going to call out here, we or three things, actually. We did make a couple of special rules for this. Uh, outside of this, there's this outside of these special rules, it's complete base 5e or Star Wars 5e if you're running for the challenge. So no variant rules. Uh, it's true, cut, okay, the true base system. Nothing different on that. So true on that side. I didn't even do ASI plus a feat like I usually do, or one point of ASI plus a feat. I ran this completely rules as written. Uh, no variants for the character build. Uh, so couple of the rules that break uh, kind of these base rules that are built into the system. Uh, one of the biggest being uh, we brought Cleave in there. Uh, so we changed it from the traditional D&D metrics. I didn't like how the D&D uh, method did it. Uh, if you've ever checked out the, uh, the Dungeons and Masters guides rules for Cleave, I tweaked it a little bit. I made it a little bit more fun and I made it, some, I kind of made it stand out a bit. Uh, basically with this, uh, so uh, when you have a melee attack that reduces a creature to zero hit points, any excess damage from that attack uh, can be carried over to another creature within reach of a PC. If that, da if that creature is reduced to zero pit points, uh, you can repeat this process uh, until there's no uh, damage left or there's no valid targets left. So pretty cool that side. The Sparty clones, which we're using as kind of our base grunt troopers, they've got 9 HP. Uh, so the Guardian, the Berserker, uh, even the Sentinel, uh, should get some good opportunities to just start cutting those down and cut it down a, a good swath, hopefully. And no, oh, kind of a deep cut for my Lord Nords. Uh, I use the Sparty clones as the Grunt Troopers. For those who aren't familiar with that and kind of wondering why the Sparty clones, uh, they came out late in the Clone Wars. Most of the clones that you're familiar with are kind of grown uh, by the Comedians, uh, where they have like a, a shortened but kind of full lifespan, like in eight years they're grown and built into mature fighting force. Sparty clones, they're flash grown. Uh, so they, I think 
30, 90 days, they're grown into an adult. Uh, they're flash learning. They get to learn their pod. Uh, they come out and they're a lot less proficient, a lot less skilled than the clones that you usually see. So deep cut from legends on that side, if you're ever we're curious about who the hell the Sparty clones are, that's who they are. And that's kind of why I included them in there. I wanted some good grunts that wouldn't kind of diminish the clones legendary reputation, or the com- comedian clones legendary reputation. But we've got that in there. We've got a lot of different troops and varieties to keep interesting uh, and just kind of really keep everybody on their toes. But we went through the cleave rule. Uh, Another optional rule or another uh, kind of variant rule that we've got with this. Uh, We've got a Jedi holocron. The the, the knights carry a holocron with them. Uh, Basically what this will do uh, is one of the, you have to choose one of the characters to have this on them uh, and they can spend their action to activate it and all of their allies within 30 feet get the benefit of a short rest so they could roll some hit die. Uh, They can get any abilities they get back on a short rest uh, and they can only do that once per the encounter. Now, for the scoring pieces, though, if they don't use that, they get more points. But kind of depends. If you want to survive longer, that could be the good way to go and get some abilities back. And then finally, uh, as death approaches, they've got the one with the force ability. So there's two different ways they can express this, and I had some fun with this. Uh, They can either go out, and basically let me give a background for it before. Uh, Basically, this trait can be activated at any time, so it can be somebody else's turn in the kind of in the midst of somebody else's turn uh basically any time uh, your creature doesn't even need to be conscious or your pc doesn't need to be conscious to activate it they just need to still be alive and basically what it does it allows you to gain one hit point uh and you can un- choose the power of your choice to unleash and after you unleash that power your pc fades into the force and is dead so you can't be brought back up uh, basically this is your your parting shot, your your last play before you become one with the Force. But there's two different ways you can become one with the Force on this. So, uh, there's no death. There's the Force. This is going out like a Jedi Knight would. Uh, basically, the Jedi will use their life force to heal um, their allies. All friendly creatures within 30 feet will regain 5d8 hit points. So kind of a good way to keep your, as you're dying, to keep the rest of your friends fighting and keep them up and kind of revitalized on the battlefield uh or if uh you're kind of that's kind of embracing the light side kind of you're, you're, you're living up to the ideals of the jedi using the force to heal to help but with the clones turning against you the republic falling uh you're fighting for your life you you're truly using all of your power to to buy as much time for the younglings as you can this may lead even a good jedi over to embracing the dark side in their final moments uh, and you can use the force shall set me free. And for those who didn't get it, I used some of the pieces of Jedi and Sith code for those real, real basic. But I thought it was cool to me. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, but with this one, uh, rather than healing, uh, you're using the force to attack with your last breath. Uh, and basically, you're going to call upon the dark side of the force uh, and destroy to destroy your enemies. All hostile creatures within 20 feet of your body uh, must make a dexterity saving throw based off of your ca- uh, your casting power uh, and uh, taking 68 force damage on a failure, half as much on a success. So kind of a cool way to clear out the field uh, and buy your, 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 your other allies uh, some breathing room. Now, in regards to points... No difference between using the two. You actually get points for kind of your last stand, no matter which way you go. But have some fun with your kind of your PC and flavoring it as you go off. Are you going to live up to the ideals of the Jedi, uh, or are you going to call up on the dark side to buy time to save the younglings? Choice is yours. But this is a cool one. I had I really had a lot of fun building this. It was a little bit more work than I thought to build, but I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely drop some comments. Let us know if you've seen it already, if you've uh, kind of uh, got a chance to dive through it. We just released it this week. Uh, but if you haven't yet, go download it from Patreon, run it with your crew. And if you're up to streaming it or recording it, at me if you're streaming so I can come watch it uh, and definitely tag me too in the uh, Dungeon Jam Master Discord uh, if you've got a copy of the recording. I'd love to watch this. I'd love to see how you and your crew go through this. Uh, but even if you don't record it, we're doing the honor system for our Dungeon Jedi Master, so hit us up with your uh, your score uh, and kind of look, tell the story. when you like. Don't just post me with your score. Give us a little bit of how your crew went through it. Uh, tell us the story. Like I'd love to hear about it. Uh, but yeah, Check us out on that side. This is one of our Patreon releases. If you're not part of our Patreon, each month we do something cool like this for our crew. So come through. Uh, 
support us. This is available for both our knights and masters level. Uh, you can bring this to your crew and hopefully get on the leaderboard. And if you want to see it run, I'm going to be running myself uh, November 4th on my channel, Tegan J Gaming uh, Twitch. Uh, it's at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is a Friday. So come through and maybe if you're not comfortable running it yet yourself and want to see an example, you can watch me and four of our fellow Dungeon Jedi Master Patriots run through this one uh, and see how it goes. I'm pretty curious to see how they shake it up on this one. So it'll be a blast. But thank you. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and until next time, folks, may the force be with you.